chance to ride my man. Keep your ratchet ass over there. No shit. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Alpha Bravo Sierra, do you read? <laughs> I've almost got him! That lab monkey's DNA will save us from the apocalypse! You have to catch him! I've got him! Remember, don't stick your penis inside it! Why would I do a thing like that? Nonsense. The problem with Darwin is he was a biologist. I'm a mathematician. And we know that in the world there are two kinds of people. People who remember how to count. And people who we can convince a new way of counting while fleecing them for every penny they've got and then charging them for the pleasure. Capitalism depends on one thing, and one thing only, a steady supply of idiots. Idiots, just like you. You're paying for an education. What's wrong with reading books on our own? <laughs> well, two things. First, reading is for pussies. Nobody ever learned anything useful from reading a book. Second of all, you're not here to learn. You're here to meet people just like yourself and lay down on that same conveyor belt as everyone else. The conveyor belt that says, if I do the right things, if I play the game dirty enough, if I eat enough babies, then I too can become stinking rich and soulless. Let me be clear. I am stinking rich and soulless. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Woo! Oh. oh my god, Mr. Fitch! I loved your lecture. That was amazing. I love how you made stocks seem like totally exciting. Yeah, yeah, and how, how buying a share is sort of like raping and pillaging, only in a cool way. Ladies, make this quick. You're costing me time, and time is a cliché. You think I'm going to take you under my wing and become a father figure to you so that you can date my daughter and then betray me in the end? Well, stop wasting my time and let's get on with this narrative gangbang. Okay, Sounds yeah, let's good. do it. Listen, I've got a sports car. I'm rich and I'm busy, but nothing gives me more joy than corrupting greedy young innocents. Except I can only take one of you. So say goodbye to your friends. But we're, we're best friends. We, we, we moved to Liberty City together to pursue our dreams of, of trading stocks. Sorry, bud. It's time to say goodbye to you and to see some glamorous images set to power pop.
It's holding you and the narrative back. All this to be yours. Wait, you mean the whole city? Just as long as you forsake your friends and your values. Yeah, count me in. Ah, what was that? Holy. Oh. So you're saying that all this is yours? All from selling pieces of other people's businesses. I knew at that moment it was time to introduce a portentous voiceover. Stocks, credit default swaps, the whole capitalistic circle jerk. Jesus, man, you make math sound so homoerotic. It's just like football. You build up an analogy. You pat another man on the buttocks. Then the whole thing falls apart, and everyone gets brain damage. Okay, yeah, I think I, think I get it. Who was she? A hot, brainless woman to act as a plot device? Was she my love interest? That's Miranda. She'll never be fully explained. Also, she won't talk. The actors' union lets us pay extras at half the rate. That's how I got this yacht, Dylan. By screwing the worker. That's what made this country the way it is. Wait, so Abner, seriously, like, what's the deal with this? I mean, you, you take me under your wing and... Everything's really exciting, but it's also at the same time a little bit creepy. But we haven't even discussed synthetic collateralized stock options or, or mortgage-backed securities or even exotic DNA swaps. Oh, you want to have a you want to have a real conversation? You want to go there? You're ready to face the big boys and the bold facts of the world and the way it works? Well, let's go stand in the middle of a park for literally no reason. I see something in you, Dylan. You seem naive and in need of a father figure, because yours probably died or is gay. Um. But you're also hungry and greedy and vindictive, which I like. Yeah. I'm a lion. I eat my young. But in your case, I'm going to make an exception. You're the son I always wanted. And if you think that this is setting up an event in Act or Two later when I will present you with a clear moral dilemma, then you were wrong. Wait, really? It's happening now. Let's look at some graphs and scales and images of skyscrapers. America really is amazing. Did you know that we're the world's leading country at graphics? Listen, kid, nothing makes me feel more alive than crushing a man in business, then destroying a large chunk of the economy. You really are a titan. I am the Archduke of metaphors. I am the... <laughs> I am... <laughs> No, 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 don't die. No, you're not finished yet, please. You can't die on me. <laughs> Are you crying? Yeah, I thought you were dead. I can't die yet. My work here isn't finished. My masterpiece awaits. What about the talking monkey that we haven't met yet? Or, 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 or the unexplained dog bark? Or, or my best friend that got written out? Or... or or the sequel right? What about the useless VO that no one needs? Screw you. Come here, I want to show you something. What are you doing? I've hacked into every major stock company on the exchange. Wait, just now? That seems like really easy. Now we can't get bogged down with the realities of IT and technology. Just know this, with a stroke of a button on this untraceable laptop, every publicly traded company on the boss sack will be wiped out. And I've shorted the lot, a complete meltdown. Finally, he said the title. Good. We can use the scene in the trailer. I'll scoop up shares through shell corporations and make billions, hundreds of billions. I won't have this monkey on my back, foreshadowing. Nobody can fucking stop me. I just said fuck, I'm an outlaw. That means we get an R rating. Wait, does that mean that we have to have sex with the same woman and then, like, watch each other while we do it? Thankfully not. Okay. But just know this. Nothing can stop me now. Except me. Yeah, right. What are you gonna do? Fling your shit at me? <sighs> not him. Me. Chip! You fools won't ruin my plan. We'll race through the city at high speed. <laughs> I've just pressed this button, and now tense music is playing, and there's data. Moving really quickly. Oh my god. If we don't get that laptop, the good, honest capitalism is dead. We've got to get that computer! Dude! Why'd you let the monkey drive? Because it looks cool. 
It also probably says something about society which may or may not be racist, sexist, and or stupid. You never did get that diploma, did you? No, but I got something even better, Chip. I got a life lesson. <laughs> and <laughs> we made a new friend. Gosh, I just love this city. Me too. You can have blow delivered right to your door. And there's this great dim sum joint in Chinatown where swingers pee on each other. Uh, no, that's not really what I mean. I mean more the energy and the innocent good times. Uh. Man, I can't believe I almost lost everything. All because I got greedy and saw one too many computer graphics. But you know what? America's about taking long walks with a good friend and just loving your country. It's about apple pie and baseball and hating injustice. It's about letting people be heard. It's about equality. For everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Miranda, Monkey, Dylan's weird voiceover. I'm the mayor. Hooray! And you just saved capitalism from greed and excess. Now here's a prize. It's a song and dance routine, because we all know they don't write on like this anymore.